When it comes to chickpea recipes, hummus is the first that comes to mind. That said, it might not be your thing. But that doesn't mean chickpeas should be overlooked. The little legume is a windfall of nutrients for endurance athletes, and there are ways to prep it beyond a dip. Chickpeas are 68% complex carbs, with a hit of protein, 14.5 grams in a 1 cup serving, making them a perfect recovery snack for muscle building and tissue repair. They contain almost as much potassium as bananas, which is necessary for muscle and nerve function especially after long, sweaty workouts, says Ali Gregg, a dietitian in Kansas City, Missouri. Plus, chickpeas contain copper and iron, which your body needs to form red blood cells a key component for building stamina. Looking to drop a few pounds? Chickpeas to the rescue. People who eat them tend to have a lower BMI and waist circumference, according to a study in Nutrients. Their fiber content 12.5 grams per cup gets some of the credit. And the legume soluble fiber even seems to pull bad cholesterol from the gut, research in the British Journal of Nutrition suggests. Sure, you can toss the canned kind onto a salad and call it a day. But there's a lot you can do with chickpeas and chickpea flour, transforming them into side dishes and main courses even pizza crust. To prove it, four chefs shared recipes celebrating them. Click through the slideshow above and get cooking. One Dango. This Omani dish is a mainstay at Maiden Restaurant in Washington, D.C. Chefs Chris Morgan and Gerald Addison serve it with flatbread alongside Middle Eastern hummus and muhammara, a walnut pepper pomegranate dip. Serves 4 to 6. 1 2 cup butter. 1 2 cup olive oil. 10 cloves garlic, minced. 2 tablespoon Aleppo chili or red chili flakes. 1 tablespoon freshly ground black pepper. 2 15 ounce Ken's chickpeas, drained and rinsed reserving liquid salt juice of five limes roughly chopped parsley roti bread optional in a large pot over medium heat melt butter with oil add garlic and cook stirring constantly two minutes add chili and black pepper then chickpeas reserved liquid and salt to taste cook until chickpeas start to fall apart five minutes turn off heat add juice and additional salt sprinkle with parsley and serve with roti. 2 Chickpea Panis When Michelin starred chef John Fraser serves these at terrace and outdoor gardens in Times Square, New York City, they're paired with a roasted cauliflower puree, but you can eat them with whatever dips you like. They're also great at breakfast along with eggs over easy and stir-fried vegetables. Make a big batch, and set some aside for after a workout their balance of carbs and protein make them a great post-gym snack. Serves 4 to 6. 4 cups 2% milk 1 cup chickpea flour 1 4 cup canned chickpeas, drained Salt Olive oil 1 tablespoon RASL hanout spice mixture Mint and parsley leaves In a medium pot over high heat, boil together milk, flour, chickpeas and a pinch of salt until thick, 5 minutes, then use an immersion blender to puree Cook and blend until mixture is batter-like, 2 minutes Pour mixture onto a 13 by 18 inch sheet pan lined with a silpat non-stick baking sheet or parchment. Cover with parchment and use a flat rolling pin to even out the top. Refrigerate tray until batter is completely cooled, around 2 hours. Heat oven to 400 degrees. Flip chickpea mixture onto a cutting board. Using a 4 inch ring mold, biscuit cutter, or a paring knife, cut circular discs. Brush discs with olive oil and bake until top is golden, about 10 minutes. Remove from oven. Flip discs, brush with more olive oil and season with salt, and continue baking until golden brown on both sides, 10 minutes. Remove from oven. Meanwhile, in a small bowl, stir together RASL handout and 2 tablespoon olive oil. Drizzle herb mixture onto discs, and serve garnished with mint and parsley. 3 Farinata. Call it this if you are in Italy. In France, it's Sokka. Either way, this large chickpea pancake is great drizzled with olive oil and sprinkled with fresh herbs and good salt. But that's just the start. Chef Hilary Sterling at Vixen New York City uses it as the base for healthy flat bread. Serves 3 to 4. In a large bowl, stir together. 2 cups chickpea flour, 1 tablespoon salt, and 4 cups water. Ferment at room temperature for 3 hours. When batter begins to bubble, cover with plastic wrap and refrigerate, 3 hours and up to a day. 
In a large olive oil coated cast iron pan over high heat, cook a large, golden, and crispy chickpea pancake. Depending on pan size, you may get two. Transfer to a baking sheet, dress with pizza toppings, and bake until toppings are hot. Or crunchy spiced chickpeas. In a large bowl, toss canned, drained, and paper towel dried chickpeas with olive oil. Spread chickpeas across a parchment lined baking sheet and bake at 375 degrees until golden and crispy, 35 to 45 minutes, shaking tray halfway through. Spice it however you like. We like this concoction from Chef Robert McCormick of True Food Kitchen, Fennel Pollen, Fresh Lemon Zest, and Sea Salt. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to channels.